What is going on, everybody? We're back on it. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, episode 54. We have 10 episodes left. Um, and we have still kind of yet to see what the father is kind of capable of. Because we know what his, we kind of have the general idea of what his grand goal is, whether it's to kind of, maybe his kind of immortality, immortality battery is kind of running out and he needs to kind of refill it. So we've kind of got that general idea, but we don't really know the extent of what his powers are. Now, because we've seen what the other homunculi can do. Now, is he somewhat powerless as he allows the other homunculi to kind of run around because they came from him? Is that pulling power from him? So if he kind of like consumes sloth and consumes envy and consumes back pride, would he now be able to use all of their abilities? Or does he still have abilities up his sleeve that we have yet to see? Still kind of wait for that. Still waiting to kind of see Hohenheim's, um, I guess, kind of full trump card or maybe things like that. I think we still need to see the the labor of the fruits that he kind of deposited from his own kind of philosopher stone body. Um, and then we have pretty much everything is going way too well for kind of the hero's side um, of invading the city, of taking over, of Fear Bradley disappearing. We have Envy on the ropes. You know, Al was able to escape from Pride. You know, everything's just going like, you know, way too well step by step. So I'm waiting for things to just completely go sideways. We'll kind of see. We left off last episode, which with either the fake Hawkeye pointing a gun to the real Mustang or the real Hawkeye figuring out that's not the real Mustang and is pointing a gun at the fake Mustang, which I think. Could it be the real versions of both? Could be, but I would wager to say it's one of the other two, but we'll go ahead and see. It looks like we have like a decently long, cold opening here. It looks like it's about two minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and watch it, and then we'll skip past the intro and keep it going. So episode 54, pressing play right now. What is it titled? Beyond the Inferno. Okay. <coughs> And what we saw last episode of Mustang is just able to summon flames and then not actually have to come from his hand. Because all the other kind of alchemy that we've seen, mm, and he used it to, yeah. And he used her father's research to kill his fall Ishfallens. But like all the other alchemy we've seen, at least with like Ed and Al, they touch and they create from what they touch. He's just standing here and making flame appear over here without it like coming out of his hands. Just kind of, you know, so no one else can use it. But she'll never be able to make that mistake again. Yeah. Yeah. One of them is about to die. I think it's more likely it's Hawkeye. Because Mustang has a part to play, I feel like, with his abilities. That if one of them was to die here in this episode, it's going to be Hawkeye. She's kind of gotten her whole kind of character development story arc. So what does her back look like now? I mean, it's probably all scarred up and, he and healed now. But that recovery healing process must have been rough. Okay, skipping through the intro. All right, we skipped through it, and we're back. All right, episode 54, Beyond the Inferno, pressing play again right now. And we're in there. All right, who's the fake? I feel like, if anything, it's Hawkeye. She's got the dedu deduction skills, I feel, 
to be able to be like, okay, you're fake. Knew it. Boom. That's I had a feeling. She'd be able to <clears throat> decipher that. Ooh, dotting her up. Ooh. Keep dotting them up. Boom. Okay, so she. Some of these other homunculi are definitely not as, uh, they're not as uh, sturdy as Sloth is, but that probably goes with his size. Burned. Mustang is literally the homunculi killer. It just doesn't, it? well, I don't know him and Dr. Marco. Marco seems to be a little bit more efficient and exact. Whatever it is that he does, which I still don't even know if we got clarification on that. If that's just his research, he said he was able, to, if he could research to create them, he wanted to be able to destroy them. <clears throat> She's scared, or he's scared. It's scared. Mustang calls him a him, so I'm going to keep calling him a him. Well, don't just sit there. You gotta realize, Mustang, you still have a human body. Like, one slip up, you're dead. Jesus. Good God. And this is like the second time Envy has died. Well, didn't fully die, but damn near did from Marco. Hawkeye better not be like, you know, stop. Give him a ch give him a chance for what? Did we get it? Did we get it? Oh, nope. We're back to this caterpillar again. Well, how come it goes back to its original form, but it doesn't go back to, like, when Lust died, the, the stone just, you know, broke. We keep going back to this larvae shit here. Hawkeye, don't you dare stop this. Please don't interfere. Ed. Don't you stop it. They're going to stop it. Yeah. Hawkeye, what are we doing? Oh god, Captain Save coming over here. Why is everybody just like freaking out? I understand he's like fueled by revenge, but like what are we doing here? Do you understand what Envy would do given the chance to sprout back full? We've seen it already. Why are we doing this? We're trying to save this man's soul, or what? <clears throat> I agree, like, it doesn't need to be tortured. Just kill it. What are you going to do? Keep it as a pet so it can just kill you in your sleep or some random shit? I'm with my... I'm not in... We don't need to sit here and torture it. Just get it over a step on it, burn it, shoot it, do what you got to do. But, yeah. I don't know if y'all agree with that or don't agree with that, but... 
Who knows? Scar, who the hell are you to talk? How many people have you killed? Yeah, exactly. Alright. What's everything Scar's done? Chill. I feel like that's a mistake. I feel like this is a mistake. Envy's gonna get so many chances to come back to life. I don't understand how it's reckless. Maybe finally getting, you know, his revenge and hatred, but it's not like he's killing... He's killing children, or, you know, sacrificing, blowing up a city just to kill Envy. You know, Envy's right there. It doesn't have somebody held hostage or, you know, anything random like that. It's literally just Envy. So unless you plan to have a plan to extract all the souls, I'd let Mustang have at it. Get that up out of your system. And let's put the head back on and get get to the goal. But, you know, I get the classic, you know, anime thing, not letting the, you know, don't let don't be fueled by hatred and revenge and all that kind of stuff. I actually agree with Mustang here. If Envy plays a part in this after, y'all remember this. I really hope Envy doesn't get his body back and end up killing like Scar or Hawkeye or something like that. Hey, all you gotta do is hit one of those and you could burn it from across the back of your shoulder. Nobody would be able to stop you. This is what Pride was talking about. Humans have too much emotions and empathy. Yep. This is kind of the Naruto thing here, like, are we going to keep the cycle of hatred, hatred, and kill, 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 revenge going, or is y'all eventually going to, like, just squash it? The cycle of revenge has to eventually stop, so... Who's going to stop it? They all have a... Um, they all have a... Uh, they all have a common goal to stop whatever's about to happen.
I wonder what MV plans to do because they're not going to kill him. I'm gonna say, yo, Ed, you better f put two hands on that. I still don't even understand, like, so what is it that the father did? Like, this is an an this was an actual animal running around in the world, and he put a philosopher's stone inside of it, and that specific homunculi's ability was able to shapeshift. Envy's definitely probably had the most character development of all the homunculi, though. And this was the first one we saw. This was like the very first, uh, you know, issue we had to deal with. Minus the, what was the water ice alchemist in the very first episode, but in the town we went to and the priest and all that. Now, these are extensions of... They are extensions of the father, so... Does the father f feel this way about humans as well? To some extent, or no? Yep. So was that an original creature that the father put a philosopher's stone in? Broke it. Dead. Alright, at least Envy did end up dying, but that could have been risky. Ed was holding that like a damn bar of soap. Just fucking... You need to put two hands on that. I guess the same outcome did end up happening, so Envy is dead, so no harm, no foul. But I think Mustang should have been able to just handle his, and they should have kept it moving. And this right here, I was bringing this up a couple episodes ago. If Armstrong kept spamming that over and over and over, just pillars in his face, pillars in his face, pillars in his face, is that pretty much... Would we would we have had the same result of what Mustang has been doing, just burning over and over and over? Because clearly that's a kill shot, so, you know, that's juice wasted. Major, excuse me, Major. I get them confused. General, Major. Oh, hell... She needs to take men and handle them. Major needs to take men and handle the big boy. They're not going to be able to kill him unless y'all got some flames that I don't know about. Yo, y'all got to worry about big boy in the back. Kill the girl. Mm hmm. Okay, Major. Come on, All Might, get him. <laughs> that hurt. That shit's already been dislocated. Oh, his arm's still kind of messed up. Oh, God. He still has a normal human body, no matter how big he is. Man needs help. Somebody help.
He just ate that. His shoulder's already busted. Might as well just put it there. Hi, Duken! You remind, I think I brought this up in the very f couple first episodes that we, uh, <laughs> the first couple episodes we saw of him. Um, he reminds me of the guy from, um, One Punch Man. The very big one that's locked up in jail that likes all the boys. He's extremely big and sparkles for no reason. I mean, he's definitely feeling those. They're playing, like, the Russian theme music in the back. Oh, he's having to recover from these. Ooh, okay. We got some kill shots there. It'll have to regenerate. Just do it over and over. It's not bad. Again, everything is going perfectly. Something's got to go wrong for us eventually. How many homunculi are we still down to? Sloth? Pride? Um... We still have Greed, but he's on our side. So they have two left? That's it? Gluttony was consumed. Lust is dead. Ooh. That's what happens. They exiled him north and now he's back. Oh, old uh, teacher trick. The one who dug, who was able to infiltrate Fort Briggs, yeah. She's good to go. She's got some juice about her. Okay, that was a pretty, pretty solid episode. Not really much to discuss other than Envy is dead. Um, yeah, we didn't, like, not many chess pieces were moved around the map here. Other than Envy was dead, which we saw that happening. That, that was just going to happen. Again, when Hawkeye's father, I don't know his name. He, we got him for 30 seconds. Um, when he created this flame alchemy... Does it just happen to be a, a coincidence that it just works? It's just so spammable against homunculi. Or did he have some kind of prior knowledge to homunculi and philosopher's stones and was trying to come up with something that could combat that? Because we've seen, I was about to say, we haven't seen much that could do any, like, we haven't seen all the alchemy that there is to be, to be had. Um... But, like, I don't think Ed or Al could create something un strong enough to pierce, you know, some homunculi skin and all this stuff like that. But we did see Armstrong, you know, he was able to create those pillars that pretty much went through, I would say, the most durable homunculi. Maybe minus greed. Um, but it just seems to work so perfectly to, you know, you're not chopping off a limb or, you know, piercing them through the stomach. Like, you're just burning the body like down to like, to nothing and having to regenerate that like it just it just happens to work so well that we've seen it it's two for two right now you know so um if Mustang doesn't offer anything to the story it's that at least um and then we've got the battle with major male Armstrong general female Armstrong. We've got the at doing the Briggs forces have infiltrated. Every, everything's going great, swimmingly. Um, so I'm just kind of waiting, like I'm just in, I'm in anticipation kind of just waiting for when things don't go well. But I will say the father's kind of running out of I guess kind of um, grunts. I kind of put the homunculi kind of as his grunts. I don't know if he kind of makes them do kind of like the heavy lifting because he himself 
again, I don't know if those, they're like extensions of him. And then like when they die, does that kind of um, sin just go back to him? Does he Is he now aware that, oh, my homunculi is dead? You know, does he kind of regain some kind of power? Is he even losing any power? I don't know. When he makes these extensions of himself, when he makes Bradley and, and Pride and Gluttony and the rest, is he is he losing strength in himself to give that out? Um, and then if he is, or if he's not, either way, when they die, does he kind of, I don't know, subconsciously get memories back or a power surge or some kind of ability back that maybe they had? I'm not quite sure. Uh, again, I didn't agree with the not letting Mustang, um, which I get, I understand, I understand what everybody's saying, what Scar's saying. He's like, I know what it is to be fooled by revenge. And you've seen everything he's done in the innocence he's killed and the rampages he's gone on. You know, he let his hatred just continue to go and go. But I would say that his hatred was kind of more so focused on a bigger group than just kind of one thing that Envy was. But that's not to say, you know, maybe when Mustang got a taste of it, a taste of that hatred and revenge. It didn't spill over to, like they said, you know, is this the face you want to have when you run the country and all this kind of stuff? But, um, but that's what, you know, and I guess you might as well want to deal with that as his friend before that, but you would hope people around him would be able to, you know, um, advise him better and he's not this immortal homunculi if mustang gets out of hand yeah he's got some flame alchemy but if we have to you know put his ass down we could put him down and maybe you don't want it to get to that point where we have to overthrow mustang because he's just this fueled you know dictator hate revenge i kill and everything but i didn't i didn't feel like it was anything to have him kill it other than what it would have done to his mental but I would like to think that his mental might have been a little stronger than that. But they kind of made it seem like maybe it wouldn't have been. But as far as, you know, he wasn't putting anybody in danger. He wasn't putting the city in danger, the entire mission in danger, people's lives in danger. Snap of his fingers and it's dead. But Envy ends up dying anyway. So maybe it kind of all works out and he doesn't have that kind of... But now you don't know, like, what it's really going to play on his mental, his consciousness, as far as... I, f I finally found, I found Major Hughes, I found the one that killed him. I had him there in front of me, I had him. And even though he's dead, I didn't get to do it. You know, he's got to live with that, like I had it. And even if this goes great, he ends up becoming the Fuhrer and leading the... Again, the story doesn't continue, so I have no idea if he thinks about this at night when he goes to bed and isn't able to think about like, oh, I, ha I had my revenge for my friend and they stopped me, and now I hate them. I wasn't going to be able to do it. I don't know if that will play on his mind. Maybe we'll find out. We'll kind of see. But he even made the comment, like, damn, he took the coward way out, the easy way out. I wasn't able to, you know, fulfill what I what I sought. Um, you don't know how that might play, you know, on his mental state. Kind of um, when, you've, when you've had your mind made up for something for so long, because when you got... I just finished Vinland Saga, and I don't want to make any spoilers, but what happened in episode 24, like... You've had your mind set on this, and you've kind of fueled your life around it, and you didn't get to accomplish it. Now what? Granted, this case here isn't as extreme, but if you kind of get what I'm saying with that. But for now, no harm, no foul. We'll kind of see what it plays on Mustang's mental. I don't even know if we go that deep or if we have that many episodes. Like, Say Mustang lives, becomes Fuhrer, you know, King, runs Central and all that kind of stuff. Maybe he'll never even think about it again. Like, ah, uh, Major Hughes is, you know, murderer was brought to justice. He's dead. You know, he never thinks about it. Or maybe it plays on his mind. I don't know. But we'll just kind of leave it and go from there. So I appreciate it, guys. Uh, keep liking it up. We have um, 10 or about less than 10 episodes left. And we'll be done with this. And we'll keep going from there. Like, share, favorite, subscribe. And as always...